We'll follow the bouncing ball here, something the media can't do. All right, we have more breaking news tonight. Her brand new column, her brand new report, investigative reporter, Fox News contributor Sarah Carter. Sarah, let's get into yours. Uh, and it's very clear, it's, you know, this is a big story also. And you're also corroborating and confirming a lot of John's story. Uh, absolutely. I mean, I think what we see before the FBI actually opened its official investigation, it was a counterintelligence investigation, which means they were gathering as much information as possible from everywhere. And, and they could. They actually, and, and I'm not talking about just the Bureau, I'm talking about other intelligence agencies, foreign intelligence, the Great Britain, Germany, Estonia. Poland. Uh, now, we're a member of the Five Eyes, and that doesn't include Germany, Explain Estonia, and Poland. Explain the Five Poland. Eyes. Okay, that's Australia, New Zealand, Canada, the United States, and Great Britain. And we share information with one another. That means if we have information that's pertinent to the U.S., we share it. Remember with uh, Alexander Downer, the ambassador who shared the information uh, with the United States on his conversation with Papadopoulos. By the way, we got to remind people, Downer donated $25 million to the Clinton Foundation, okay? Absolutely, he, absolutely. And John... And remember, before the FBI interviewed him, the State Department had to get involved. That would mean John Kerry knows about this, too. And that goes back to John's report. It goes to the White House. Now it goes also to the Secretary of State's office. Well, we have to ask ourselves, Sean, what information are we trading back and forth? And this also would mean that Brennan, who was head of the CIA, DNI Clapper, uh, you know, director of national intelligence, would be well aware of this because this is a counterintelligence investigation involving something very specific, involving the Trump campaign, Trump campaign members. And that's very important. That doesn't mean that this would just be at a lower level. This would be at a higher level, a principal level, which means that Brennan was very well aware of what was going on. And what I'd like to know is, did the British share the information with us first on some of these players, or did we ask for specific information? But this is important. How was the, the exchange? Yep, yeah, uh, and this is important, because all these foreign players are involved. The timeline is way off in the story, that the narrative that they've been saying. That means people have been lying dramatically here. And then we got an IG report coming out, and I'm told as many as 28 people that have knowledge of the Clinton email server scandal, 28 of them, FBI people, want to be subpoenaed so they can tell the story about corruption at the highest levels of the bureau that they love. Absolutely. There's a lot of FBI agents that want to come out and speak. A lot of them are current agents, which makes it very difficult for them. So they need to be subpoenaed. So these are things that Congress needs to act on, Congress needs to do so that they can come out and tell their stories. Unbelievable reporting. Thank you, Sarah Carter. You just keep breaking story after story. We're going to stay on this. This is getting interesting when we come back.